And welcome back, everybody. It is Humane Society time. What do, who do we have here today? We have a very scared Mr. Catman Black. Okay. He is a male. I believe he's, he's also a little bit loud. Now look. Oh yeah, he's got a set of lungs on him. There I, you go. You guys probably heard me coming down the street with we, him. We did, <laughs> but that's okay. He's, uh, I think he's about three years old. Okay. So he's just trembling away, the poor guy. Yeah, he's just scared. I woke him up out of a sound sleep and shoved him in a kennel and, and brought him over here. He, he does. He does like to have his ears rubbed, like yeah. all of us do, I guess. But uh, he's that doing okay. Really settles him down. He likes yeah. that a little bit. So. so he's one of the males that we have up for adoption okay. at the Humane Society. Like I said, he's, I think he's about two or three years old. It's hard to tell the age of him. Uh, we just make an educated guess at, uh, at the ages of him. Well, he's a pretty boy. I oh, he you. is. Now he's, he's getting a little bit. Come yeah, back over here where you were in the, to shaking. the he camera was, here. He, he wants to look around now. Yeah, he was trembling a while ago, <laughs> all these hands on him. So he's doing pretty good now. But he's um, ready to go. So yeah, he's ready to him. adopt. Uh, you can give Jill Deer a call at 886-6126 and uh, we'll set up an adoption time with you. Also, uh, if you'd like to come in on Fridays, uh, I know our adoptions are from 4 to 6 on Fridays and I think they're still at 12 to 3 on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. And that's at the, uh, the place on Skyline Drive? Yes, right behind Pamper. Humane Society. Is that Pamper, Pamper Pets? I believe it is. Yeah, that's the name of the kennel that we're at the back of, right across from Skyline Animal Clinic. And uh, you can come on in and give him a, oh, look at him go now. Well, he's ready See, now. See, there's no doctors here. You're, he might have thought we were going to the vet. That's about the only time we ever put him in a kennel. Uh, good. And you said when you picked him up, he was, he was sound asleep. Oh, he so, was out like a light. I just, you know, it's like, and for those of you not familiar, it's like, you know, five minutes from their place to here. So he didn't have much time to really get acclimated to the no, world. and he screamed bloody murder as soon as he got outside. He was, uh, he was fine up until then. But he's a good lap cat. He likes to lay around and just take up his space. He mm -hmm. doesn't bother nobody. He doesn't cause any problems. He's just very happy to be in his little own world. Now, how long have you been volunteering for the Humane Society? Uh, this is my fifth year. Is it really? Yeah. How'd you get involved? Well, I found, uh, uh, I was finishing up uh, some work of mine up in Gary, Indiana, and I found a little kitten in the middle of the road that was just about dead. And uh, in the course of everything, he wound up coming back down here with me. And with my landlord, at the time, I had started out with one cat, then accumulated another cat, and here I come with a third cat. And she said, I will let you keep the cat if you go and volunteer some time at the Humane Society. So it was a pretty good deal. Yeah. And I've been with them five years. And in fact, this is, uh, I think it'll be the fifth year. I've been one of the last guests of the year for you guys. Is it really? Yeah, okay. yeah, because I think last year I was the last, uh, did the last one, uh, Pet of the Week. And it's been a pretty good year. Tell you how good. As a matter of fact, uh, the past two times I've been on, um, I had... Um, Jack and Chrissy, the little kittens, mm -hmm. well, Chrissy and her sister are getting adopted just before Christmas as a Christmas present. Okay. So there's two. And last time I brought on Miss B, the great big calico, and she's been adopted also. And so. I have to wonder how many people out there realize, or recognize Jack and Chrissy and wonder where that comes from. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, it was Jack, Janet, and Chrissy. And there the, you go. So, um, yeah. well, we, we appreciate everything you do. Folks, oh, uh, yeah. one of the, and this kind of brings up what I wanted to, 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 to emphasize in that Everybody. we need volunteers <coughs> for the Humane Society. We definitely need volunteers. That not um, only money and food and litter and uh, papers and all that, but volunteer time. Volunteers to help us out, uh, paper towels, old household towels that you're no longer using. We make little beds all over the place for them, and then also we get spills sometimes, mm -hmm. and they're a quick cleanup. Um, cat food, cat litter, of course. Uh, of course, we can always use financial help. That's always, that's always a plus. Now we're going to be at um, PetSmart this first Saturday of next month. I forget exactly what day that is. Mm -hmm. I don't have a calendar. I on think it's hand. the second. Okay. Yeah, because the first is Friday. And uh, Catman might be there too. Okay. But uh, hopefully not. Hopefully you'll have a new well, home. Hopefully for somebody will see yeah. him and pick him right up. Because he is he is really a sweet cat, and he's just really nervous now. His if you can't see if his ears are actually going like this, he's so nervous. Well, and he when he first came in, he was really making a lot of oh, noise, yeah. and then after we played with him just a minute or two, he calmed down, and and now he's more curious he realizes than anything. That, uh, but but he still realizes this is not my uh, my area. Yeah. So. Uh, but he's available. What's the number to call again? 886-6126. And once again, folks, you don't know how much we appreciate the, t uh, 
you, Eddie, and letting us come here with our animals. Like I said, just an just example, two, two animals, three animals that I brought in are already adopted. Yeah. So we, Glad to do it. Oh, and, and it, this helps us with our adoptions. You would not believe how many people come in and say, oh, we saw the kitty or the <laughs> dog on TV. We just actually just got a uh, Labrador retriever in from the vet. Uh, he's finally well enough to come to us. He was in... Um, it used to be Christopher's Mobile Home Park, now it's Ashwood Village. He yeah. was a stray out there, and in pretty bad shape. He had, uh, he had some skin yeah. problems, and he was malnourished. Uh, the kind folks there were trying to take care of him and feed him, but they can only do so much. Well, we are out of time, so we have to okay. run. And all of the pet segments are now on the internet. Go to yes, WKAG.com and, uh, and go to the scene section, and you can actually just click on like the pet area, and it'll bring up all of them, and you can take a look it's, at some of the animals. Uh, currently in past. Well, I do it and it's first you click on the box that looks like this. There you go. And then the next screen there's a black triangle that says the scene online and in that you'll get all the all the uh, all the little segments there and especially the pet of the week. There you go. We're out of time. We will see you later. What's the number again? 8866126. This is Catman Black. He's about a 2 or 3 year old male and he would love to go home with somebody this week in time for Christmas. Real quick, give me a close up there of that face, that face, there, there he is. is. And we'll be beautiful. right back.